This is a, a very desperate race against time. It's been a bit more than 14 hours since this ferry boat uh, overturned and sank in the Yangtze River. Uh, that took place at about 9.30 at night uh, local time. Now, it had some 458 passengers and crew on board. And according to Chinese state media, only 12 people have been rescued thus far. Uh, five people, uh, their bodies tragically, have been found. So we've been seeing images emerging uh, on the Chinese uh, state television networks showing uh, people on the hull of the ship, uh, which is largely submerged and overturned in the water, uh, tapping with hammers, uh, apparently trying to cut through the hull of the vessel with uh, a blowtorch, and getting also reports uh, from state media of uh, response coming from inside the vessel. So presumably here, uh, they are looking for people who could be alive in air pockets uh, uh, and, uh, you know, just trying to stay alive until rescuers uh, can come to their aid. Uh, most of the passengers on board uh, this vessel were uh, senior citizens. It was a tour boat. They were on a tour. They were tourists uh, heading, uh, as John had mentioned, from the eastern city of Nanjing uh, down to Chongqing. And the ferry boat made it about halfway uh, before uh, this accident took place place. Now, two of the people rescued thus far are the captain of the ferry boat and a chief engineer. Uh, they have told state media uh, that it was a cyclone uh, that capsized the vessel. The premier of China, Li Keqiang, he has rushed to the area to help oversee the rescue effort. Uh, again, uh, this happened about 14 hours ago, a little bit more than that, uh, and the rescue workers will be working again to try to find anybody who could be, still be alive within this overturned ferry boat.